they fought to the end and what a series this was. Let's let's get into uh, how that one ended. Game four between the Aces and Storm. Pick it up in the first quarter and Brianna Stewart. I mean she had quite the game. Finds an opening, drains another three. 13 straight points for the Storm. She was KDS. There oh. wasn't a bucket that she didn't see that she didn't feel like she can make and she was knocking them down. Listen, throwing a ball in the ocean. The basket couldn't have been bigger. <laughs> and this one misses the free throw, but the ball Tip right back to oh, her. rebound. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm sure Becky Hammond was going insane at this point. <laughs> 26 points in the first half. Storm up three at the break. Asia finishes and the foul. She had 23 points, 13 rebounds after a made free throw. Aces up six under four to play. Stewie, 42 points, seven rebounds. Storm cut it to two. They they kept in it, but just over a minute to play. Someone by the name of Chelsea Gray. Hmm? Yeah. Chelsea. The great. I like Ray. that. Okay. We also got Chelsea Dagger today. Oh, right. That's awesome. good. Mm -hmm. She finished with 31 points, 10 rebounds, and that big time shot as the Aces go on to win 97 92, win the series 3 1, and advance to the WNBA Finals. And Chelsea fired up after the game. And let's take a look at the reaction D on Way. Twitter. Absolutely. D Way. Say less, bro. Chelsea Gray is a hooper. Chris Paul tweeted, Chelsea Gray, I love watching you play. You got a fan over here. And DeMar DeRozan also chimed in. What a performance mm. by Chelsea Gray last night. On, on the broadcast, Ryan Rucco said her postseason run might be the greatest in WNBA playoff history. I mean, that is some really high praise. But I want to know from, from the two of you, is her performance the best you've seen from any player in the history of this league? Carolyn, let's start with you. Ooh. That's a statement. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> wow. Because she is shooting 63% from the floor. That's crazy. When you look at the top players that rank in postseason play their field goal percentage, mm -hmm. well, you're normally looking at post players. This is from the point guard. Mm. Chelsea Gray has been on fire. And it's not like she's taken four or five shots. She'll be taking in the teens plus 20 plus shots a game and knocking them down. Oh, and don't leave out the point that she's also distributing the basketball. Double double last night. Okay. Scored her assist on 54 <laughs> of the team's 97 points. Exactly. And her leadership, composure uh -huh. that she has on the floor. Yeah. This is the best performance I've seen. Uh, so you know how folks get upset at Steph for changing the game and making everybody want to take threes? Like, this, Chelsea, this is a compliment, but it's coming because the two shots that you hit down the stretch do not look fundamentally sound, right? But she talks about diligently working on them. You see her get a release up. The ball has a beautiful backspin. Never mind, she might be taking it off of one foot or who knows. I just think you have to understand how much she has prepared for this moment. And you've talked, CP, endlessly about the switch that clicked when she was snubbed this year for the All-Star team. I'm going to tell you, that was poking the bear. You leave Chelsea Gray with the performance she was having first half of the season off the All-Star list. Uh -huh. This is what you get. It was almost poetic. We, we said goodbye to one of the That's greatest beautiful. point guards beautiful in the history of the game beautiful. and an ushering in and allowing people to see Chelsea Gray is not just the future, she's the present, she's the now. Um, and for, for the now, the Aces, uh, they're in the finals, mm -hmm. and they'll either face Chicago or Connecticut. Game five of that series tomorrow night, 8 Eastern on ESPN2. You will see these ladies in studio during that game. <laughs> um, and when you look at this Vegas team, uh, Chelsea Gray playing at an all-time level, as mentioned previously, you know, MVP, Asia Wilson, new MVP. Yeah. Congratulations to, to Asia. Becky Hammond, coach of the year. Um, are the Aces the favorite in the finals no matter who they play? Well, whether it's they play Connecticut or Chicago, they're going to put this up in the locker room. But, yes, I think that the Las Vegas Aces are the team that have, I think, the highest potential of winning the WNBA championship, and this is why. They're balanced. They've got the weapons. We talked about Chelsea Gray, Asia Wilson, most improved Jackie Young, Kelsey Plum, one of the best three-point shooters in the league, and then having Kia Stokes that really is that role player that rebounds and defends. But this is the other thing, conditioning. Yeah. All right, so the first three games of the season, that third game, the Aces lost to uh, the Washington Mystics. 
and they were they were fatigued they were tired they understood then that was a lesson learned when we are playing this kind of tempo this kind of pace you got to take care of your body you got to be in great shape and throughout these playoffs the one team that doesn't hasn't looked fatigued has been the Las Vegas Aces yeah in addition to the fatigue I think the focus has been impressive I mean you don't get to the last what game four the last three seconds has three field goals and execute to a T without a tremendous amount of focus and so I was hesitant to pick a winner in this series because Come I just on, felt like it was going to be it. that well hold on hold on hold on in the Aces Seattle series I didn't pick but right. I think what I've seen is this Aces team grow up tremendously and so even if I think the stamina to me matches a little bit better with Connecticut but I think the focus they look a little bit more focused than both of the teams that they are standing to face. And so it does feel like they are the team that has the momentum. When you talk about focus and you talk about endurance, I point to that coaching staff mm -hmm. as well. have done a marvelous job. And Becky Hammond will become the first person to play and coach in a WNBA Finals. What a first start uh, on the bench for her in the That's WNBA. That's a high bar. Exactly. <laughs> she earning all that million mm -hmm. dollars. And you guys are earning your money too. <laughs> Thank you, girl. In studio again. You can check them out tomorrow night for Game 5. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.